Hey friends, I'm so glad you're here and I hope you're having a great day. Today we are gonna do a celebrity makeup routine. Not just any celebrity, Billie Eilish that is. So subscribe for more videos like this. I do videos every Monday and Friday here on this channel, uploading twice a week. I've been in the beauty and makeup effects industry for over seven years, so we have a lot of stories to tell, beauty makeups, body paintings, effects videos to make, doing creative twisted makeup looks while having fun. So subscribe and stick around. Like I said, today we're gonna do a makeup routine of Billie Eilish. Now I'm over a decade older than Billie Eilish is, but I love her simple makeup it looks everyday natural, and I really want to get down to the nitty gritty of what products she used or similar ones and how she applies them. Because working in the movie and television on sets and makeup industries, we love natural makeup look. We love makeup to look like it's your skin but better. And that's just what she has accomplished, so I'm not only gonna go through all her products, but try to find dupes and try to make this so much more affordable. I found an article online and saying that Billie Eilish is obsessed with this one brand. Now, I do not know if she is being sponsored by this brand, if they give her free product and gifting, which I think that they do because they used to gift product to me, but I'm no longer on the PR list of Milk Makeup. Milk Makeup is very much known for its modern day packaging, its inclusivity with its simple makeup packaging, but also they had like different things. I remember the first one was their eye pigments and their glitter sticks really made me want to buy their products. So I was buying their products. But we're just going to go through her makeup routine because it is filled ev every single step with milk makeup. And I'm going to try to find dupes for y'all while we try to do this. Now let's put on our wig first because just for this video, I got her wig. I had to get her hair. It is so amazing. Bomb. That highlighter, there's so many affordable dupes for her hair on Amazon, I had to get it. I think the reason why Billie Eilish has been one of the top most popular famous artists who's super young, she's one of the youngest ones, is because she stands up for what she believes in and not only that, she doesn't showcase her body or sexual appeal to get where she's at. She made it known that she is just wants to be known for her talents and her, well, her music. And that's what I really like about her. She wears and makes it a purpose to wear baggy clothes. Tight fitting clothes and showing off your body features isn't a bad thing, but I do like that she went from the norm of what Hollywood is known for. And people her age and females that have also charted not taking any disadvantages from other females that have charted that do show off their body. That's great too, if they want to. But at such a young age, she's come so far. I mean, sure, she still wears Gucci and Chanel and stuff. Who doesn't when they make that much money? But she kind of embodies a doll in a good way where these oversized clothes make her look almost doll-like. I honestly want to do a transformation making her look like an anime doll with this wig I'm about to put on. But let's go through her step-by-step -step products with Milk Makeup. Because a lot of these products that we're gonna talk about in this video, I have used. So, ooh, how do we, what do we think about the wig? The hairline is a little much, but I think it'll work if we comb her out. I feel like Billie Eilish's hair is its own entity in celebrity. I feel like a 90s boy band who's trying to be present here and fashionable. But let's just get this out of our way and then we'll put it down later. Okay, we're here. So the first step in Billie Eilish's makeup routine is her moisturizer. She uses the Milk Vegan Milk Moisturizer, but what I would use is my favorite drugstore moisturizer that's not as opaque and creamy as this, but it's just as good as that Vegan Milk Moisturizer. Instead of, I'm using Glam Glow, which is even more expensive, I would use the Neutrogena Gel Hydro Booster because it's just as creamy, but it's in a gel consistency and it does the same thing similar to both of these moisturizers are very compatible to that one. The Milk Vegan Milk Moisturizer is $38 and the Neutrogena Drugstore one is 15. This one's 55, it's way too expensive. It's not worth it. Sorry, Glam Glow. Now the next product that Billie Eilish uses is the Holy Grail of Primers from Milk's products. It is the Hydro Grip Primer. I've always wanted to use it, but girl, it's $30. And I've heard so many great things about this primer oil from e.l.f. and it's only 10 bucks. If you read the reviews all over Target, 
Ulta everywhere where you can get it on Elf's website. It is, seems like Magical has five stars and it's only $10. And it supposedly does really similar things to Hydro Grip. What I would also use is the Elf Jelly Pop Watermelon Dewy Primer. I had that and I used multiple bottles of it. They don't last long for me because I love it so much. And I've heard so many people say it's just like the Hydro Grip Primer. This one feels more, I was about to say oily, but it just feels not as tacky as I want it to be, to be honest. I would get the affordable e.l.f. Watermelon Dewy Primer. It's just like the Hydro Grip. But the Hydro Grip is $30 and the e.l.f. Dewy Primer is 10 bucks and so is this $10. Even though it looks like an eyedropper full of pee, it is very moisturizing, just not gripping. Now Billie Eilish to get the more natural glow, she wears a tinted foundation by Milk, which is a skin tint. I personally feel like if you don't buy the full foundation, a full coverage, it should be cheaper, but maybe that's just my brain. The Milk Sunshine Skin Tint that Billie Eilish uses is $42. Today we are gonna use my favorite tinted moisturizer recently. This is the Pretty Fresh Color Pop Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. I love it because it comes in a pump. Mine's super messy, don't judge. But this, honey, it's not no $42, it is $14. It is so lovely on the skin. It's so pretty. It looks like your skin, went, but better while covering and calming down all of my redness on my face. And everyone who's a makeup artist that loves natural makeup loves this stuff. It's amazing. I know makeup artists that are obsessed with full coverage and still love this foundation or moisturizer, I should say. See, it's just that good. It looks like your skin, but do we even better? Now her next favorite product is a lot of people's favorite product and it's one of my least favorites and I'm so surprised it's on there, but it's the Flex Concealer by Milk. Now for me, this concealer is super oily and slick. It like creases under my eyes. It just does not work for my skin. I have combination skin that's dry patches with oily eyelids. So my favorite concealer that would be a dupe for that is the CoverGirl True Blend Concealer. Now the Milk Flex Concealer is $28, but this CoverGirl one, honey, she's only 12. She goes medium to full coverage depending on how much you put on. It's honestly one of my holy grail concealers. I probably use a little bit more concealer than Billie Eilish does, but I'm just gonna blame it on me being not as young as she is. I do have old age spots. And this concealer is just so good. I love it so much. I mean, how can you beat $12 instead of 28 bucks? And I know I'm using a beauty blender right now, but e.l.f. has this giant magenta sponge that I always use and I need to get more of them. It's so much cheaper than this and I love it just the same. Now my least favorite thing is that she doesn't use setting powder. I'm gonna set my under eyes because we're also gonna use some cream bronzer. She does use bronzer. So just whatever powder you have, if it's RCMA, whatever. Ooh, the Maybelline Fit Me in the drugstore is superior. Now the bronzer that Billie Eilish uses is like one of my least favorite, but it is the Milk Matte Bronzer. It comes in this chunky stick. And whenever Milk comes out with those chunky sticks, whether it's like the face thing, which I didn't like because it broke me out and you're just putting a like deodorant type stick, keep you on applying it to your face, that you're putting more makeup on top and that stick kind of glides the rest of the makeup on your face off I find. So I have to warm it on my hands and then put it all over. It's kind of a hassle, but some of their products are worth it. Like I love Milk's glittery highlight sticks. So what I would get instead of that, because it's $28, Ben Nye and Mayron RCMA, they're all under 20 bucks for pans of like cream bronzing colors. So I would use that. And with these, you can go straight from your beauty sponge to your face or your brush to your face. They're matte, they have no shimmer, they do similar things as that stick does without budging the rest of your makeup. And I know she does not do nose contour, but I'm gonna do it because her nose looks totally different than mine. I want to look a little bit similar to her. We're not doing a full celebrity transformation, but why not? Just using the same products that she suggested, just with more spots on my face. Like I said, I know girl does not have powder in her routine, but I need it or else I'm gonna crease 
like nobody's business. What really makes me sad is she does not have blush. Like I know she wants to go for natural, but blush is gonna give you life to your face. But I'm skipping the blush because she's skipping the blush. Billy, hang out with me. I'll do your makeup. Effects or beauty, whatever you want. Like she watches my videos, no sis. Now it says Billy likes a sunkissed complexion with a flex highlighter from Milk. Now those highlighters are gonna run you $28. Highlighters, mascaras, eyeliners, there's just some makeup products that I don't think are worth splurging on money. And those are some of my top three, there's probably a lot more. But I found that Wet n Wild highlighters are some of the best in the drugstore and they're just as good as those high-end or middle class like Milk's highlighters. This is the new Hello Halo highlighter from Wet n Wild. This one's called Highlight Bling, it's one of their lightest tones. It does have a blush topper in it, but I'm not gonna dip into that even though I really want to. But this is gonna run you $7. Not no $28, $7, and look, whew, at that highlight. My boy, <laughs> look at that. Oh my, that's more than sun kiss. That's beaming from the heavens. It's not a cat sketch video unless I do a heavy upper lip highlight. The Cupid's bow highlight is everything on this channel. This highlighter is so blinding, I could knock her back a little, which is rare for me. I could even put her right here, here, and here. They don't say the placement of these products or a YouTube video, which I would love from her. So we're just gonna put it where I usually put said highlights. Now this next product that she uses on her eyelids is one of my all-time favorite milk products they have ever made, and it is the eye pigments. She uses the color Hotel Lobby, which is a super bronzy, nice medium brown tone that has shimmer to it. It kind of reminds me of like a good, not pitch black coffee, but with some cream in it. And I found something from Ofra that looks very similar to it. Again, those milk pigments are so pigmented. They look amazing. I used to use them on sets all of the time, but this one is by Ofra. It's the color CFO, and it is in their Bossy Eyes collection. It's 15 bucks instead of 24. I'm sure there's more liquid shadows that are cheaper. This is just what I had that looked really similar to what Sis Billy was using. So we're just gonna run this across the eye. It looks gray on the eyelid. I'm gonna be honest with you, this one is not as good as the milk one, unfortunately. I just love those milk ones. I will put down dupes to that milk pigment in the description below though. This is my first time using this one. It looks super ashy. I need lipstick and eyelashes and blush so bad. Now for eyelashes, Another great product from Milk is their Kush Mascara. And I actually have said Kush Mascara, I just got a new one in, but man, this is $24. Mascara is one of those things that you don't need to pay high end for like ever. There's so many good drugstore mascaras, I swear to you. Like the L'Oreal Unlimited, it's only 13 to 15 bucks. You'll be saving a lot of coin. And it's so much cooler because look, it has a bendy wand, ooh. And when I have a natural makeup look like this, I like to put some cardboard or paper here so it won't get onto my rest of my makeup and just go like this. And it really gets the lashes all coated evenly. Now see that? It looks nice. My eyelashes are naturally not that as impressive as Billy's. So I'm dying for some falsies, but I'm gonna stay true to the Billy Eyelash Makeover or makeup routine. Now this next step is a brow gel. No brow pencil, no brow pomade. None of those things that I like to use as a crutch to lean on because I've got thinner brows than she does. I've got some Asian eyebrow hairs and it must feel nice to be part of the elite that doesn't have to use pencils or pomades like I have to rely on all the time, but we're just gonna stick with the brow gel. Now this brow gel's a lot cheaper. Now, Billy uses the Milk, I think it's the Kush Clear Brow Gel. These brow gels are awesome, but this one is awesomer, I know. CoverGirl, blew it out of the water with this. Seven bucks, this one is not clear, but I need some help. I need extra help with my brows. I promise you this is not cheating because I'm not using pencil or pomade like I usually do. But this one gives you fiber brow hairs, not the fibers like those mascaras of the fibers that fall on your eyes. These ones just clean to the brow hairs better without fibers. I don't even know how to explain it. It's like it creates hairs within your brow hairs. 
it's just so good and it leaves them stiff almost like you sprayed your brows with hairspray and I know that sounds disgusting like why would I want thick crunchy brows cat but if you have sparse brow hairs like I do like not many of them this is like what dreams are made of you could spike them a little bit it's almost like those 90s hair gel for your brows look at them that's insanely different it's like I grew some hairs overnight and I'm gonna bring my brows further together no I'm not gonna create a unibrow it's just that her brows are naturally thicker and closer but just look at that look at the difference come on now I'm not cheating I'm just grabbing a spoolie because I got too much product here I want to look like natural hair girl not the Wolverine now the next product is on your lips that Billy uses and it is magic it's this lip glaze that she wears by Milk that applies green and it uh, turns up pink magically on her lips and I'm surprised it's a lip gloss that's super sticky because she seems like a tinted lip balm kind of person but that's just me I don't know her but if you're gonna spend around 18 bucks or more for lip gloss I know this is $22 but the Sigma lip glosses in lilac wine these ones have a brush tip applicator, which I like brush tip applicators better for my lip glosses. It is so worth it. This is great. But I'm going to go for the affordable option with the ColourPop lip gloss. This is in the color P-A-N-A-C-H. Can't pronounce it. But it's a pink lip gloss. That's only $7 and not really sticky instead of the 18 bucks. I know it doesn't apply green, but it's what we got. So with that, we are completely done, I think. Billy, I don't see how you do this without getting the hairs stuck in your lip gloss. I either look like a 90s boy band member or Billy, similar to her. I can't imitate her. Honestly, this look, it's the brows for me. Oh, and before I forget, these contact lenses are from PinkyParadise.com. They are bomb.com. All of their contact lenses are so good. But you have to get those sleepy eyes down, some hair in your face, and some angst to really look and imitate Billy. Again, she's one of my favorites. Her newest single is amazing. Glad I tried to do her makeup routine. As a makeup artist who has been in the industry for over seven years, I just wanna show you guys some tips and tricks to similar products where you don't have to break the bank to get this look. Now, I'm not that exceptional at math, but Billie Eilish's makeup routine daily that she used her milk products in this video came up to $256 for her face. The Natural Glam Beat. Now, with my suggestions, all the dupes that I listed that's like the most affordable, it's only gonna cost $122. And if my calculations are correct, again, not great at math, that's half, half the money. So again, subscribe for more videos like this. I do videos twice a week here on this channel. Character makeups, celebrities, beauty makeups, all different types while we talk about creepy and weird things. All those product lists that I'm gonna talk about Hers and my dupes are going to be listed down below in the description box. It's going to be a lot of work, but you guys are worth it, friends. Does she use setting spray? I'm going to do it anyways. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me talking about dupes and celebrity makeup routines. If you like this video, let me know if you want to see more like this. Tips and tricks I found on TikToks and other celebrity makeup routines and like ways I can make them better or more affordable. Leave a comment down below. Thank you, creators, so much for watching. See you later, friends. Bye.